camp so far? It's been nearly three weeks. How's uh, Gonzo in particular looking for you guys? Well, Gonzo's looking well. He's looking good. Just trying to make sure these guys get out the camp legs and things and such like that and get freshened up for the season open. Trick was saying he's splitting time with both safety and corner with you guys. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, he was posing with all you guys in the corner room. So, mm -hmm. how much is he still working with you guys at corner? And, uh, what he offers to you? Well, Coach Landing is big on uh, cross training guys, getting guys to play multiple positions. So, we're going to continue to, that trend with all the guys, working them at different spots, whether it be star, safety, boundary, post safety in the middle of the field, or, or at corner. What, what allows him to be someone who can do that in particular? Tri Excuse me? What allows TriQuest to be someone who can do a little bit of cross training? Um, well, most, most of those guys can all do it. Want, uh, you, we recruit guys to be defensive backs, not just necessarily a corner or a safety or a star. So all those guys have the qualities to be able to do that. And, and that can carry over even in a game? They can play maybe one series at one spot and another? Yes, sir. That's why we cross train them, you know, just for that situation. How has Gonzo done in, in terms of leadership role coming in? Kind of a, a veteran guy but with a young, uh, young guy. Uh, big time um, because they've seen the success that he's had and we've been able to go back and reach back in the vault in the bank and show the unsuccessful times that he's had. So it's, it's been easy to show the young guys like, look, hard work, dedication, and the technique will set you free. Is he, is he also cross-training or is he one of the guys who's kind of exclusively? Well, Gonzo, he, he knows this defense from other positions. We've been main, primarily keeping him out at corner, but he gets reps in some of our drills and things and such like that at the star and stuff like that. Whether Dante Manning ends up being a starter for you, Demetrius, or just mm -hmm. rotation, mm -hmm. he was, obviously he played quite a bit last year, mm -hmm. but he was behind players, he was behind those guys. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be taking more reps this year, whether he's a starter or not. Definitely. What have you seen to where, to make you feel confident that he can take on that bigger role and bigger workload, regardless of starting or not? It's a big well, Yeah, his, his confidence. Dante Manning has a great level of confidence in his athleticism. He's played some, like you just mentioned, as far as experience and things and such like that. All those things are going to carry for forward for us really big, especially being with a younger group. Who's next on that outside group? Sure. Because, I mean, all right, you have Gonzo, Dante, Quez, but everyone else is yeah. young. And yeah. I know outside, the further away from the ball, the sooner you can play, theoretically. Yeah. But Dan was saying on Saturday, he wasn't sure if anybody has taken you know, that next guy role. So and, who is that next guy? And I would agree with that sentiment exactly. It's just the simple fact that we have a, we have a good we have a good mixture to pick from with those young guys. You got uh, Darren Barkins, you got uh, Jaleel Florence, you got Jaleel Tucker, you got Kamari Terrell. You got a lot of guys there that, you know, it's just force feeding them the information so they can let their athleticism show up. You mentioned Kamari and Terrell. How have some of those freshmen like been able to adjust to new, like, new offense or new defense and getting adjusted to the well, they, they've been going through the hard knocks. You know, it's hard knock living, especially out there in the secondary. We're responsible for a lot of checks and balances of, of the defense. And for a young guy coming in from high school, it, it's challenging. And they're doing an awesome job. They just need more reps and more time, and they're going to be all right. You mentioned what you, those four guys all competing. Would you like one of them to elevate themselves and become kind of that clear-cut fourth guy? or For sure. For sure, any anyone, whoever chooses, they want to be that guy. Let's go get it. What, yeah. What is it going to take to convince you that one of those guys is that guy? Well, I guess that, that's all about timing, timing, and the right place, right time, and all that type of stuff. When those guys, when that number is called, and who shows up, they've all they've all had their negatives, and they've all had their positive, both in practices and uh, scrimmages. So we, we're just going to keep pushing. Pushing. Jaleel Florence is able to unroll early. How much mm -hmm. of an advantage do you think that's been for him? Huge. Kind of getting there in the early. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge for a guy that came in early because it's all review for him now, and it's much needed review. Those 15 practices in spring are almost like a, a full season in this in this defensive scheme. So now that he's coming back, everything is kind of slowing down to him. And, and it helps on the leadership aspect too because he's able, his classmates, to show like, hey, man, this is this is what this is what you have to expect, you know. No one freshman come in. They usually.